fresh crisis looms as Kano Governor Yusuf reportedly rejects Kwankwaso's orders. Now to the news in full. A crisis seems to be brewing between Governor Abba Yusuf of Kano State and his political god godfather, Senator Rabbi Gwakwanso, with the former allegedly refusing to sack two top government functionaries as directed by the latter. See the problem with godfatherism, with you saying you are a godfather to this person. So because you are my godfather, I should sack somebody. What is their offense? What, has, what have they done? Even, I don't know what the people have done, but it might be that they have not done anything wrong. Or maybe they disobeyed him. So you now give an order. Oh yeah, you, because you are my godson. Because I put you there. Because I help you. Oh yeah, sack those people. It is not done anyway. It is wrong. That is the same thing we get to is trying to do to Fubara. Everybody in the states are playing godfather to, to, to governor. What is that? What is that? It is absolute rubbish. And this godfatherism should be scrapped. It should be scrapped. It is, it is total rubbish. The affected functionaries are the Commissioner for Information, Baba Dante, and Secretary to the State Government, SSG, Dr. Abdullah Bichi. A source said Kwakwansa was uncomfortable with Bichi's refusal to take instruction from him in handling some of the official issues. So, because of that, the governor should sack him. Because he's not doing what she wants, so the governor should sack him. For what? For what? Is it that the people, the people governing the state, they don't have a mind of their own? So they should be running with your own thinking, with your own brain. It is not done now. It is wrong. The new Nigerian People's Party, NNPP national leader, wants Tantia to be replaced with a social media influencer who may consider more competent to manage the ministry and image of the state's government because she wants to put somebody there. That person that will put there, he will be doing everything that you instruct. Because this one has refused you now, you want to come and put somebody there so you are, you are recommending somebody else for the governor. No. The governor knows what he wants, he knows what he's doing, he knows the people that are working well for him. You can't just come and be playing godfather and be giving rules and regulation because of what? Are you the governor? You are not the governor. You helped him to get there, and so? You leave them to run their gov gov governorship the way they want to run it. Stop giving them orders, stop telling them what to do. Sussex close to the governor said, You see, we still would rather have a one to one discussion with Kwakwaso over the issue than act on its order. A group known as Abba Saya da Kafaka, meaning Abba, wake up and assert yourself as it marched in support of Yusuf. According to sources close to the group, it has become important for Yusuf to stop behaving like an errand boy. The source said the group believed that Kwakwan Sohan picked most of the government's political office holders, including the commissioners. Members of the National Assembly on the platform of the NNPP were said to have recently met with Yusuf and nudged him to assert his independence. See, all these politicians, eh? They are all the same. It's, it's really difficult. It's, it's going to be really difficult to get somebody that would really do something good for us in this country. All of them, including this Kwakwanso, that is trying to be the president. Look at what he is doing. So when he gets to, to president's um, seat, that is the same thing he will be doing. Every one of them is just, they are bad, all of them. In fact, all of them are bad. All of them are bad. It is only God that will help us in this country. Similarly, Alaji Amisu Dangurua, chairman NNPP in Kano, has announced the suspension of the SSG and Alaji Muhammad Dagon, commissioner for transport from the party. He said the two principal officers were suspended over alleged anti-party activities. When contacted, Kwakwansu said it was in line with the action of the party chairman, adding that as a loyal party man, he, should, he would not contradict the party's leadership. I will not say anything more since the party chairman has already addressed it, he said. Attempt to speak with Sanusi Batuwe, the working tougher spokesman to the governor over the development did not yield results as his phone line rang out. When our reporters tried to reach him on Tuesday night. What are you reaching him for? Leave him alone. Mohammed Savino says, Mashallah, the truth manifests. That's exactly what happened between Ganduji and Kokwanso, now Abba and Kokwanso. Sifinade Jare says, Kokwanso should pray against what happened to El Rufai and his governor to happen to him. He must have endorsed them in the first place, calling for the removal of such sensitive aids could crack the NNPP structure and crumble its presidential ambitions in 2027, if not resolved quickly. Sule Momodu says, this is the problem of politicians. That is why I must always respect Peter Obi. He never plays the role of a godfather 
throughout his political journey. Kwakwan saw have make me start losing respect for him and begin to hate him. Exactly because I was thinking this man was even reasonable, but see what they are doing, playing godfatherism up and down. This godfatherism, godfatherism thing is total trash and should be scrapped. It should be scrapped. Pak Achelom said, I see God beginning to fight for the innocent Emir who was forcefully removed by the duo to enthrone their stooge. Christian says, a boy will become a man eventually. That is it. You cannot expect somebody to just remain the same way you, you left them. To always be your boy, 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 boy all the time. Of course they will grow up. Of course they will grow. They would, they would have a mind of their own. And at the end of the day, they will start, they will start to reason that, okay, what this person is telling me to do. Does it make any sense? They would reason to you, you can't just try to control their brain or try to control what they do or what they say or what they eat or what they put in, in, in one position or the other. You cannot. Al Hazan says that is the beginning. The governor now realizes it's better for things to fall apart than he should allow the arrow of Kwakwaso to fall on him. The governor now wants to be man of the people to let things be at ease. Yakubo Saliu says, it's just a question of when and not if that we, that, that the quank man and follow, follow red cap governor will eventually fall apart. It always happens with Kano politics. The same thing happening in Kano is the same thing happening in Rivers. And who knows so many other states like that that we are not even hearing about them. Maybe those ones, they are still obeying their godfather. They have not, they have not disobeyed them. That one has not asked for something that they cannot do. So when the godfather asks for something that they cannot do, will also hear about them. Paul Yerima says, Who is the governor between Kwakwansu and Abba Gida Gida? Kwakwansu is not supposed to put his hands in the administration of Yusuf. We don't have two governors in a state. Kwakwansu can only advise him, but not to put his hand in the administration. It is bad if it is so. That is how they are running things in this country, oh, Paul. Ah, are you not in Nigeria? That is what we K2 is doing in River State. That is what this person too is doing. So many other gov um, governors and ex-governors will also be doing that, playing godfather to the, to the new governor of the state. For what? Telling them what to do. Are you the governor? When you were there, did somebody tell you what to do? If somebody told you what to do and you obeyed everything, then you are mumu now. You can't expect somebody to be mumu for you forever. It's not possible. You people are not the same. If you decided to obey this person because he's your godfather, does not mean that the next person too will also obey you. It will offer me says APC play very dirty game by turning Nigeria to one party state. Don't destroy opposition parties if you truly if truly you are a democratic party with good leaders. They are not. Obviously, we are not running a democracy in this country. We are not though. We are soon becoming North Korea where if you say anything, they will just buy you. I hope we don't get there soon because we are already heading in that direction. My listeners, over to you. Do not forget to like, to share. And to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for listening. See you some other time. Bye.